Hello and welcome everybody to the National Real Estate Post. Frank Ray here, of course, with uh, NBA President David Stevens. But Dave, before we get started, got to get my mentions in. Uh, our sponsor, Loan Tech, they help loan originators convert online leads. And what they'll do is take all those online leads from all different directions, bring them into one spot, and help you drip on them and convert them. And they're free for six months, so why not give it a try? To get started, just click the banner you see right here over on your right, or if you're on Facebook, there's a link up above. Now with that, let's get started. Hello, David Stevens. Hey, Frank, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. Thanks so much for taking the time to do this interview. Uh, I did a show a couple days ago where we saw the National Association of Home Builders was kind of, you know, saying, hey, we're not so we're not so stuck on the mortgage interest deduction for home homeowners if there's something else that might that might work. Uh, so I did a show on that. Then yesterday's show, I, I had um, the government affairs, senior government affairs person for the Chicago Association of Realtors on the show. And he said, well, as far as NAR is concerned, we want, it, we want to keep it around. We're not going to budge. End of story. Don't even ask us to look at anything else. We are sticking with the mortgage interest deduction. I saw in a Wall Street Journal article that MBA was, and I think the quote was, we're not dogmatic about anything. It was basically, you know, we're basically open to ideas. So with respect to the mortgage interest deduction, what's the MBA's thought on this and, and, and their position on this? Yeah, so let me, uh, you know, I, I think, uh, and by the way, I'm, I'm sitting here at my home. I'm getting ready to uh, pack a suitcase and head to Denver for our annual conference, uh, which starts this weekend. But um, at a very high level, let me just, let me just put it this way. We care about the economy growing. Uh, we care about jobs being created. We want people to have money in their pockets to buy homes. Uh, and as you know, particularly with young buyers coming out to purchase homes, there just isn't enough of it happening. They're beginning to buy, but there's not a lot happening. You can blame it on tight credit. You can blame it on inventory. You can blame it on the fact that a lot of them just don't have the money. Uh, my daughter and son-in-law just went under contract. I can tell you down payment is a real big deal. Hmm. So. There's a proposal in the tax plan to double the personal deduction that uh, uh, that people get to file. If you're a married couple, it'll double from twelve uh, to twenty-four thousand um, okay. dollars, or fourteen to twenty-eight thousand dollars. And if you're an individual, it doubles as well. Um, uh, some and the realtors have been vocal on this are worried that that will then limit the value of MID because people in those tax brackets, tax brackets, will then have less declarable income, which may mean it may limit their itemization. Uh, ability to be able to actually benefit from MID. Our view is that uh, we have one of the most complex tax, tax codes in the world. Um, yeah. That, you know, MID is valuable as it stands, and if anybody tries to tinker with it as a standalone, we're going to fight it tooth and nail. But in the context of broad, comprehensive tax reform, if there are alternatives that will put money in consumers' pockets uh, by lowering their, their base tax rates, uh, giving individual deductions that are higher. And if that ends up creating greater opportunities to invest in things like a home, uh, that's great. I know there's a concern about, will it destroy the incentive to own a home? Uh, I can assure you, and Fannie Mae just came out with a benchmark study that's on their website, uh, home ownership desirability for millennials is well in the mid 90s. It actually went up since the last survey. They want to own homes. And if you ask why they're not, my view is it has a lot of, uh, econo there are many economic variables and supply variables that are blocking them. If, if a simplification of the tax code and allowing them to keep more money uh, helps to make them feel more confident to spend, then I'm all in favor of it. So we have a tax, just around the table, we have a tax committee uh, created at MBA. It consists of independent mortgage bankers, some community banks, some regional banks, uh, some commercial multifamily lenders, uh, all focused on these policy issues. And what we're saying to Congress is, we wanna be in the game. We're not gonna be like, uh, you know, uh, focused on a singular uh, tax policy. Uh, and we want things that are gonna grow the economy, help people get more money in their pockets, because we think that's ultimately gonna create more home buying. So, uh, but in the end of the day, we aren't, uh, we aren't in favor of eliminating MID. We're in favor of a tax policy that's going to help our economy and make it more simplified, which we think will be better for business and for economic growth. So, however, that will be in the game. Okay, that's that's pretty interesting, and I'm, and it's uh, it's good to hear your your position on it directly directly from you because you know you read articles, et cetera, and you're kind of not really sure exactly what's being said sometimes. But um, I, I can appreciate you being, you know, uh, having the position of you want to keep MID, but. But you know you're open to other things just to keep the economy moving, etc. Yeah. Getting people more money so they will be stimulated by. It. What do you think about this? It's just an interesting thought. When I was 
a young loan officer out there selling loans, you know, 25, 30 years ago, you know, one of the main things that I would sell on was, you know, it's, you know, you've got the whole rent versus buy, you know, and you've got all the, you know, you get appreciation, you have ownership, you have all these other things, but it was always part of my stick, you know, my stick, right? It was always, and there's this mortgage interest deduction. And at the end of the year, what that's going to equal for you is a bigger, you know, refund on your taxes for, because for most Americans, you know, middle-class Americans, that's what it really equates to is a little bit bigger refund at the end of the year. But you know, gosh darn it, people love that refund at the end yeah. of the year. A lot of people are, you know, excited at tax time to go out there and go, Yahoo, I'm going to get money back. And now with my mortgage interest induction, it's going to be a little, a little bit more. Yeah. And, and based on the comments that all my viewers have been giving me, because they're like, I told you before we started this, they're all like, Hey, we're all for it. Get rid of it. Who cares? Nobody even uses it. You know, and I'm like, man, what a trip. I mean, do you think that the feeling out there these days is that's not even really so much a pitch anymore for, for the first time home buyer? I think it has to be a pitch because it's part of the value proposition for home ownership. Um, I'll tell you, you know, I started as a loan rep too back in early 1980s, pounding the streets uh, and doing the same thing. And I, I would sell the benefits of, of mortgage interest deduction. Honestly, I've bought, I think we're on our 15th home, believe it or not. I was relocated a lot in my early years <laughs> of my career. Yeah. Um, and honestly, I buy the home because my wife and I just, it's our own personal prejudice. We don't like renting. Uh, yeah. we, want, we want to own a home. I want to be able to invest in it. And I've made, you know, a lot of my wealth has been built on uh, property appreciation. Um, when you look at who uses MID, forget how we sell it. Look at who actually uses it. We have a yeah. deck that we've used for uh, uh, policymakers in, uh, in Washington is that, um, uh, it's used by middle class home buyers. The sweet spot is somewhere between $100,000 and $200,000 in income. Right. Those below at the entry levels uh, of home ownership uh, typically don't itemize, so they don't get the benefit of mortgage interest deduction. And I think jumbo buyers, quite frankly, they like it. It's certainly nice to have, but uh, I didn't make a decision to buy a million plus dollar home because of MIP. I made sure. it uh, that my, my wife and my family wanted. So right. that's really where we're at on, on the subject. I think, you know, it's one thing to have a sales pitch, it's another thing to have a, uh, to look at the real numbers and see what's driving the economy. Okay, well good, I appreciate you talking to us. Uh, I think yeah. that clears up where you guys stand on it, it makes a lot of sense. And uh, for all of our viewers out there, what are your thoughts on uh, Dave Stevens and the NBA's position on this? You seem to have pretty big opinions about it over the past two shows, so please leave your comments down below. Do us a favor, forward, share, and subscribe to our show. We'll catch you guys later. Dave Stevens from the NBA, the Presidente. Thank you so much for the uh, for the time. I appreciate it. Thanks, Frank. I appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye.